Hi guys, today I'm going to try on the newly released the Tom Ford Cream Quad and this is the one number 39, it is Violet Satine. In my last video that I uploaded, I tried on the Tom Ford, the Velours Khaki and the formula of these are just absolutely beautiful and I couldn't help myself and yesterday I decided to try out the Violet Satine and it is beautiful just an absolutely gorgeous quad now on the face of it it does look very similar to the color story in the dior quint and that is the one two two so i will swatch both of them today so you can take a look although from trying out the violet sateen you say i would say that this has definitely got a lot more punch to it than the dior quint so let's take a look at the tom ford quad it has the quite big tom ford logo on the front there in gold so that is a difference to some of his other quads it has the gold on the end there with the tom ford writing these shadows are made in italy it just has the magnetic closure and here is the color story of number 39 violet sateen this is just absolutely gorgeous this quad so in today's video i'm going to do three eye locks the first two i'll do one on each eye so now i'll swatch this on my arm first and then i'll swatch the dior quint tutu beside it So these are the shades swapped from top to bottom and left to right and you've got very deep purple here, you've got plum, sort of a, a silvery type plum colour and just a lighter pink. And just before I swatch Tutu I'm going to hold them up side by side. So on the face of it they do look like similar colour stories, the Quint does have a topper shade in it. But I would say that the Tom Ford quad overall just has a little bit more depth to it as well. So here is the Tom Ford quad and here is Dior Tutu. So here we've got a top shade and the Tom Ford quad doesn't have a top shade. This shade here is quite a bit different to this one here and this deeper shade in the Dior Quint actually has a bit more black than this one here. This one's definitely, you can see a lot more easily the purple in here. This one here is definitely more plum in the Tom Ford Quad as well whereas this is the middle shade in the Dior Quint and this has quite a bit more brown to it. I already have all my base makeup on, foundation, powder, concealer under my eyes. I've also done my eyebrows and bronzer on as well. The foundation that I'm wearing today, it is a Tom Ford one. It's the Shade in Illuminate. It is a really beautiful foundation. And I like both of the Tom Ford foundations that I have, but I probably do prefer the finish of this one. It just gives a bit more perhaps softness to the skin. I just quite like the finish of this foundation. I think it's really beautiful. I do have eyeshadow primer on. It's a MAC Paint Pot one in the shade Painterly. And everything that I'm going to be putting on my face today I will have listed and linked in the description box below. So let's get started with this beautiful quad. And for the first eye look I'm going to do something fairly easy. I'm going to take the Sonia G, this is the classic crease, and I'm going to go into this shade here. And I'm going to put this all over the lid. And just blend it up just in the crease and just slightly above as well. You can see how easily these blend. They're just absolutely beautiful. Then I'm going to stay with the same shade and this is the soft shader. It's another Sonia G brush. And I'm just going to run this under my lower lash line. Then I'm going to use one of the new Sonia G brushes. These only arrived this morning and I've been dying to try them out. These are her new 
Fusion Eye Series brushes and you know that I use her Fusion face brushes all the time. I just absolutely love them. So this one is called The Builder and I'm going to use this to place some product over the lid and I think I will go into this shade here and just place this over. So these brushes have a mixture of goat hair and synthetic fibers so they're a little bit more stiffer than just the natural hair brushes that I use but I can see that they place a lot of pigment down so they're a little bit stiffer to use but just placing the shadow down it's almost like I've used my finger it's really really good and then I'm just going to take just a little bit of that shadow just just a little bit through here then I'm going to take that wrapper 3 I'm going to stay with the shade and I'm just going to run just some through here and I won't use the lighter shade I'm going to stay with the shade and just put some of that in the inner corner as well then I'm going to take the Chukahoto, this is the F08, I've nearly finished this eye now, I'm just going to just add a little bit of definition, so I will go into the darker shade to do that, and I'm going to put some of that, just press it into my upper lash line, and then I'm going to take the Rafa 3 again, go into this darker shade, and just add a little bit on my lower lash line, just to the outer third, and that is the first eye look done. Very simple, but I think it's really beautiful. And I'll put mascara on once I've done the second eye look. So now I'm going to take the wrapper number 14. And I'm going to start off with this shade. And I'm going to put this just through the crease. And I'm going to just blend it up slightly as well. Then I'm going to take another Sonia G, one of her new Fusion Eye Series brushes. And this one is the Detail brush. So it's quite small, got a little bit of a pointed end. And I'm going to go into the deepest shade here. And I'll be really be able to pack in the colour, but be able to pinpoint it in as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some, like I am now, the deeper shadow here. I'm going to put some just in here. And then I'm going to add the lighter shade in the middle. I didn't try this look yesterday, but I just think it would look really, really beautiful. So these brushes are fabulous for just putting these shadows on. And I really like this brush. It gives you really good control if you want to be more precise with the shadow. So I've just picked it up a little bit more. Now I'm just going to put some in the inner corner. Now I'm just going back to the Rafa 14. And I haven't got any extra shadow on this brush. The, the shadow that I've put, the deeper one, I'm just using a little bit of that just to take it up just very slightly through here then I'm going to take this soft shader and I'm going to go into this shade and I'm going to run some of this under my lower lash line and then take the wrapper 3 go into the deepest shade and I'll stay with my lower lash line and I'll add some of that deeper colour just again just to the outer third so I'm going to use the Fusion Eye Series brush again I've just given it a wipe down this is the builder and now I'm going into the lighter shade here and I'm just going to put this in the centre and just tap it in and then I've just given the soft shader a wipe down on the microfiber cloth that I have in front of me. This is a really soft brush, so, and it's nice and small, so I just want to blend out just the very edges of that darker shade. And I can do that with this 
brush. I'm just going very, very gently. It's just to sort of feather it out. Just so there's no harsh line. Then I'm going to take the Sonia G, the pencil one, go back into this lighter shade, and I'm just going to run some just through here, and I'm going to take it to the inner corner as well. And then finally, I'm going to take this Chukahodo brush again and go into the deeper shade and add some definition to my upper lash line. And the eyeliner goes beautifully with these shadows too, but I have to wash both of these off in a minute, so it's just easier if I use shadows. And these do a beautiful job at lining the upper and lower lash line. So the mascara that I've put on is the Chanel Le Volume. So here is look number one, and here is look number two. This is such a beautiful colour story. I think it's just absolutely gorgeous, and just like the Velours Khaki one, they perform just beautifully. They just blend like a dream. They're creamy and buttery, and everything that just makes eyeshadows just a real joy to use. I really like both eye looks. This is very simple, basically just with the two shades, just that deep shade used as a third one, but just to give some definition to the upper lash line. But it's really simple, but I think it's really, really beautiful. And this one is gorgeous, and this lighter shade is just beautiful. And I really love the deep shade too, the purple. I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. So now I'm going to wash these off and then I'll be back and we'll do the third and final look. So I'm going to take the Rafa number 12 and I'm going to go into the deepest shade first and I'm just going to stamp some of this on the outer corner and I'll put some on my other eye as well and then I am going to blend it out a little bit as well. So I'm just going to take the Rafa number 14, which I have wiped down, and I haven't put any of the dark shadow on this. I'm just using the shadow that I just stamped down initially. So just taking it through the crease and around a bit, and I'm also going to just blend it up as well. Then I'm going to take the Sonia G, this is the flat definer, and I'm going to go into this shade here. And I'm just going to place some just next to that darker shade. Then I'm going to take the Chukahoto, this is the F08, and go into this shade here. And I'm going to put this on the rest of my lid, just through in a corner just to where that plum shade that I put on just ends and I'm going to take this shade just up through here as well. Then I'm going to use the soft shader, go into the darker shade, just pick up a tiny amount, I'll just wipe a little bit off here and I'm going to put this on my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take the Rafa number three. I'm going to go back into this shade here. And I'm just going to put some my lower lash line as well. Just through here. Then I'm going to take the BK Beauty. This is the 204. And finally go into the lighter shade. And I'm just going to just tap a little bit of this in the very inner corner. And for eyeliner, I'm going to use the Chanel. This is the Long Lasting Eyeliner, and this is in the shade Ebony. And for blush, I'm going to use Tom Ford one. This is one of the Shade and Illuminate blushes, and this is in the shade 01, and this is Brazen Rose. So I'm just going to use my Chukahoto brush, and... I'm just going to dot between the two different shades. Now these are fairly pigmented, so just tapping very, very lightly. And this is a really beautiful colour. If I think that I need 
some more I can always go in so I think I'll just tap once more into the side and a little bit more I've just had some good news the phone just went and my espresso machine is ready I love my coffee and was in desperate need of being serviced it's one of those heavy duty Italian espresso machines and I've been without it for I think it's about a week today and instead I've been using some supermarket sachet I can't know what brand is it Nescafe and it's like an instant cappuccino thing and it's okay but it's nowhere near as good as the beans that I buy and my espresso machine so as soon as I've finished this video I'm gonna go and pick it up and have my first decent coffee that I've had in in nearly a week and I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight so I've got the Rafa number 16 and I'm gonna go back into the squad and I'm gonna go into this lighter shade and just tap a little bit of that just here it looks that looks really really pretty and for lipstick I'm going to use a Tom Ford one this is in the shade blush nude it's just like the the perfect pink and I quite like doing a light lip especially when I've got more bolder eye So now that I've got the blush and lipstick on, here is look number three. And as I was saying before, I think this quad is just gorgeous. This is a really beautiful eye look. And I love it that this has that lighter shade. Actually, both of the shades on the top. So you've got the very light, like the, the pink one here, has a little bit of a shift to it. And even this shade here gives quite a lot of lightness because it's only this shade here that I've got in the very inner corner. And I also think this worked really beautifully as a highlighter as well. And yeah, I just love it that this gives that lightness. This shade is gorgeous. This deep purple shade it is beautiful it gives really gorgeous depth to the eye look and it is fantastic at lining the upper lash line as well I hardly ever wear a black eyeliner but I just thought that this look needed a black eyeliner and I'm pleased that I put it on because it looks really beautiful and this plum shade is gorgeous too all of the shades in this quad are beautiful. I think you can get very soft, very easy looks, like with the first eye look that I did, or you can really smoke it up and just use more of the deeper shades and you get a very gorgeous look as well. Just an absolutely beautiful quad. And the shade of the blush is beautiful too, that brazen rose. I think it's really lovely. And I do love... Uh, a pinky nude lipstick and this Tom Ford one is one of my favorite nude lipsticks it is really really beautiful so overall I really love this quad I like it more than the Dior Tutu because the formula I think is better I think you get even though there's four shades in this and not the five shades within the Dior Quint I think you can get probably more variety maybe with this quad or maybe I just like it because it has more depth and it's got more punch to it as well and you can use fluffier brushes and soften out the shades even more if you want to or if you use a firmer dense brush you can certainly get great payoff with these two shades as well it's really really beautiful so between the two Tom Ford quads that I picked up the Velours Khaki and now this one the Violet Satine I think they're just absolutely gorgeous they are $90 so they are more pricier but if you are a Tom Ford fan you will not be disappointed in these they are absolutely gorgeous and if you haven't tried Tom Ford before and you're interested in this color story that I've used today or the other one Velours Khaki 
then I highly recommend that you buy these. I think that you won't be disappointed. They are just beautiful, beautiful quads. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye.